At this point, it's unclear how it happened. But one thing is for sure. It had to be going pretty fast. The bus didn't stop in time. Dude, that guy had to be hauling. It slammed into a home on Mill Road. Todd Robinette hmm. rents out the property. He got a call around 8 a.m. The tires were like down in the basement. So he came to see the damage. I mean, even on the other side. Which there is plenty of. He says the bus came in like a battering ram. Pushed the wall, the basement wall out on the opposite side of the house. And this was actually a bedroom here where there were some people sleeping. Andrew Bogan. They come knock you out your bed, knock you 10 feet in the, uh, t almost five feet in the air. Says it was his father in the home. And he basically knocked him to the other damn side of the room. Bogan says his father was taken to the hospital and will be okay. His home, on the other hand. The, the electrical service is here, so that's shut off now. Is a wreck. Uh, the gas service is on the other side where it popped out, so they shut that off. They turned the water off. Pieces of it are everywhere. Before hitting the home, the bus took out a light pole and an SUV. Everything is gone. But as you can look, the whole frame is gone. You can't even drive this truck. The condition of the bus driver and why they went off the road is still unknown, but it's clear to Todd Robinette he'll never forget this. No, I, I've never seen a bus go drive through a house, no. In Milwaukee, Jonathan Gregg, Fox 6 News.